Hello friends, today we're going to be working on the G sound and working on writing our G's. If you notice, I have the G right behind me. I've got gray, gray, and green also. We are going to stop what we're doing and we're going to rewind to the beginning of the alphabet. So make sure you're standing up and you have enough room so you can move and get your arms ready. And you're going to sing along with me. Ready? A says ah. B says b, b, b. C says k, k, k. D says d, d, d. E says eh, eh, eh. F says Today we're going to be using G. G is our letter. G says, we've got, says G, G, G. But what I want you to do is have a banana in your hand because we have Greg the Gorilla. Greg the Gorilla loves his banana and he wants to eat it. So he goes G, G, G to peel his banana. Ready? So G says G, G, G. All right, we are gonna be working on writing our G's. Let's look at how we write it really quickly on our paper. If you look at our big G, our big G is almost like an O. But look, at there's enough room for it to jump in and eat. All right, and our little G, which is our lowercase g, our lowercase g is one of our wonderful letters that actually gets to play in the dirt. This is an awesome letter. Okay, so let's work on our writing. Ready? All right, so we are going to be doing our G page. You're gonna be looking for your Gs. We're gonna start up at the corner. After we zoomed in, notice I already wrote my name. So we're gonna start over here. Notice it's right underneath the top of the sky. So you're gonna start right underneath the line here. You're gonna go up to the tippy top of the sky, down to the grass, up to the horizon and across the dotted line. That's our capital G. Now we are going to be doing our lowercase g. Our lowercase g starts over on the side right here, right where the line would be. You are going to make a complete circle. Go up and down. All right, so let's go to our writing. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so you're able to see more. I'm gonna to go to my big G's. I'm starting right underneath the sky. I'm gonna go up to the top of the sky, go down to the grass, up to the horizon and across. Under the sky, up to the top of the sky, down to the grass, to the horizon and across. Now I want you guys to slowly practice the rest of your G's. Then you're gonna go down to the bottom, right underneath your G's. Notice I'm starting right underneath the top of the sky. I'm gonna go up to the sky, down to the grass, up to the horizon and across. I'm gonna use my yellow, which I would use to make finger spaces in between my words, but I'm gonna use them for my letters while I'm practicing my letters. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna go right underneath the sky. I'm gonna go up to the tippy top of the sky, down to the grass, up to the horizon and across. Now we're gonna go down to our little G's or our lowercase G's. Remember, on the uppercase G's, you're gonna keep going all the way till you get to the right-hand side. All right, now we're gonna go to our little G's. Our little G's, we're gonna start by making an O. Then you're gonna go down to underneath into the dirt. So notice we are not going up into the sky, we're staying in the grass. So you're gonna go to the horizon, down to the bottom of the grass, up, the dotted line down into the dirt and hook around okay so basically you're making a circle and you're going down under making a hook one more time we're gonna do a circle connect your circle then you're gonna go down under the ground and make a hook you're gonna do that when you are you know all by yourself down here now Look at when you're tracing. It goes from the dotted line all the way down to the ground, all the way down to the grass. So you're gonna start, you're gonna make a circle, 
look at my circle is touching both my dotted line and it's touching my grass. And I'm gonna go down under the earth and I'm gonna make a hook. Now I'm going to do my yellow for my finger space because I don't want all of my letters touching each other. So I'm gonna start up at the dotted line, go make a circle. Then I'm gonna go down and make a hook. Now, a couple things I want you guys to look at when we're doing these are G's. I want you guys to make sure when you're doing your G's that you're not doing a circle and then G like this. Notice your G, the line here, isn't even touching the bubble. You need it to be alongside your bubble that you make or your circle. Also with this one, look at what else is going on. It's floating off into space. It almost looks like a, a little balloon. If you put little lines here, and then you have somebody holding it down here. It's like a balloon that's going up into space. Here's your balloon. You don't want a balloon. You want it to be a G. So let's try another one. Make sure your G is starting at the dotted line. Go around. Now notice I'm going uh, tracing over my circle again and going down and making a hook. Making the hook is like making a happy face. Happy face goes like this. So you can always double check to make sure you made the right hook by putting two little dots there just to check. And if you made a little happy face, voila, there you go. You made a G, nice work. Okay, so that is your assignment for today. Ooh, I forgot. We need to be doing our coloring too. I already colored my gift, g, i, gift. We also have gum, which is not allowed at school. You have g, uh, 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 mm. So g, uh, mm, gum. And you've got a goat, g, o, t. The o and the a are kind of tricky. They make an o sound. So g, o, t. There you go. So you guys are gonna do your this page and then put it back into your folder so that you can show me how awesome you guys did at the end of the month. Thank you so much, bye.